Hello everyone, my name is Monica. In today's lecture, we will learn how to create REST API for the CRUD using Spring Boot. So let's get started. Before diving into the code part, let's have a quick theory on what REST API and Spring Boot are. So REST API, uh, is, uh, REST API stands for Representational State Transfer. It's a set of rules that allow programs to talk to each other. And Spring Boot is an open source Java framework to create microservices. It becomes very easy to create a standalone production ready Spring application that you can just run. Next is the framework. Frameworks are nothing but they're the pre-built environments which include all the essential libraries, packages and runtime related component. So we'll be using a context database uh, for the reference you need to use a few tools to make the REST API. First is your IDE. I am using Eclipse IDE here. Next is Spring Boot. And the last one is Postman for testing our APIs. Postman allows you to organize, test, and monitor your API request in one powerful and collaborative tool chain. So before going into the code part, let's have a quick demo on what we are going to uh, going to show in our video. Um, go to Eclipse. Here I have created the API already. So let me just run it. Run a Spring Boot app. The API has run successfully. Now come to the browser. You tap localhost colon ATT slash contacts. So the data has been fished from the database. Now to test our methods in the API, we need to launch Postman first. So come to Postman. Once you are in Postman, from this drop down, you can select appropriate uh, HTTP request for create. Let me just uh, do it. Um, yes, for create, this is post, right? You can grab this URL from the browser just copy it and paste it here right so now click on form data and you need to enter the data let me enter the name as text fire phone number is nine zero nine zero eight zero eight zero and uh, email is abc at techsapphire dot net. So click on send C. The entry has been made into the database now let's have a look which the uh, which entry we have made through the post url now we will we will get this entry using get appropriate and uh, get request same uh, paste the url here and now to retrieve a single contact we need to pass id here at the end of the url as a path variable so i have entered 39 i mean the id is 39 here so 39 click on send c id number 39 which uh, i just entered has been fetched from the database now to delete 
just uh, change the request from this drop down to delete and you need to pass id here to delete any record click on um, click on, uh, suppose i have entered id number 39 so you need to give id 39 here click on send can see that the status is okay which means the entry has been deleted from the database now come back to the get request click on send see there is no id called 39 as we have deleted it already so now come back to eclipse again now i have created the package called contact api already now you need to create a java class called contact.java click on any of the java package and name the package as com.monica.springweb any any name you can you want to be you want to do your package com.monica.springweb. You need to open contacts dot contact api dot entity at the end and now create a new class called contact dot java here i have created this class already and uh, mark this class with the entity and with the annotation uh, at entity entity and hit control one to import it now just create four parameters called id name phone and email and uh, mark this uh, mark this parameter with at id and uh, import it by hitting control one now as uh, since id is an auto generated column so you need to import and uh, you need to write an annotation called at generated value now generate get a setter method for these parameters by clicking on source and uh, click on generate getter and setter this will create the setter and getter and setter method for um, these uh, parameters and now you need to create an interface called contact repository dot java you can create this uh, interface by clicking on this package sorry new interface The package name is com.monica.contactapi and you need to append it with a repos dot repos and the name of interface can be contact repository click on add and then add jp repository or else if you don't find it you can search it here jpa repository yes. click on ok and click on finish i have created it already so the option is not highlighted so the interface will look like this you can see that this uh, interface extends a class called jp repository now you need to type contact here in place of t and the long which is the data type of id here the next step is to create a database in your sql server you can you can take any of the server like ms sql or sql i am working here with sql server i have created a database called my contact db and in it a table called contact in which uh, i have taken four parameter called name phone email and age and of course id should be um, id should be taken as well uh, you you should remember that id should be set to auto increment not null <coughs> and a primary key now come back to eclipse again here we need to create a controller class by putting dot controllers like uh, yes 
dot controller at the end of the package name and follow some steps yes this is a class contact rest controller to mark this restful controller in spring we need to mark it with at rest controller annotation and import using control one now inject a repository called contact repository and mark it with the annotation called at auto wired and again you need to import this annotation and the next step is to create the method public which should return the list of contact and call it get contacts now import java.util.star and import contact package as well you should return repository dot find all one thing that should be kept in your mind is you need to mark this uh, method with the at request mapping and of course the request method should be get to get the contact the next step is to create the contact right uh, you need to pass contact as parameter and return repository dot save contact and this command will save the data into the database i mean um, the contacts into the database and the request method should be post here now update command it is um, up, update update contact method is same as the uh, create contact method you need to pass the parameter contact as in case of create create contact and uh, with the exception that the request method should be put here instead of post and the last method we are remaining with is delete contact the deletion of the contact should be uh, done with the id and the request method should be delete here and return delete by id next step is to create uh, is to configure the data source uh, you can configure the data source by following some steps go to source main resources application dot properties yes you need to set the data source first uh, you need to give uh, the gdbc sql server this is uh, your server name this is port name and this is your database name and this is username and the password so yes we have created a web application and now we, uh, we will run this application as first you need to validate it just to check if there any error exists or not so yes validation completed with no errors or warnings now run this application as spring boot app So the API has run. Now click on browser. Type localhost colon eighty eighty slash contacts. Yes, the data which I have entered into the database has been fetched into the browser. So let's have a quick revision of what we have done. Click on mm, yes. So first you need to follow some steps. You need to create a Spring Boot project first, and then include below packages called Spring Data JPA, Spring Web MS SQL Server. Let me show you one thing first. 
when you uh, when you import such uh, these packages called spring data jpa web sql server uh, you can you can view them here at pom.xml um, yes this is spring data jpa spring starter web and the sql server all the dependencies will automatically included in pom.xml and that is the beauty of the spring boot the next step is to create entities i mean uh, you need to create a class by appending dot entities at the pack, uh, end of the package name. Now you, you need to introduce four of the properties called ID, name, phone, and email. One thing is uh, should be kept in mind is that the package name should be the child package of the main package. Now you need to create get get a setter method uh, as I have told you already. Uh, now. Uh, add the an annotation at entity on the top of the class and ID at ID on the ID column since ID is an auto generated column. So add annotation at generated value as well. And you need to uh, you need to type within the bracket as strategy is equal to generation type dot identity. Now import the package by hitting Control one and uh, add the annotation at entity on the top of the class and import it. The next step is to create contact repository. I mean, uh, next step is to create a, a new interface by adding uh, dot repos in the, uh, at the end of the package name. And you need to edit the interface parameters by, by editing the contact in place of T and integer or of the data type of the ID in place of ID. The next step is to create a new database in SQL and uh, assign four properties called ID, name, phone, and email. And of course, ID should be set to auto increment, not null, and the primary key. Just create a controller class by appending dot controllers at the end of the package name and follow some steps. Um, to make this a rest for controller, you need to mark uh, this uh, mark the class with a annotation called at rest controller and import. The first and foremost principle revolves around operation. I mean, uh, to create, delete, update, and read the data, which every software application generally performs. So HTTP perform, uh, provides a unique method for the CRUD operations by using put, post, get, and delete. So you need to create a method public uh, first. I mean, uh, this will this will bring uh, uh, the list of the contacts, and you need to import Java dot util dot star, and then uh, inject a repository called contact repository, and then return repository dot find all. And of course, the repository should be marked with a uh, auto wired at auto wired annotation. The next step is to create the methods for selection and creation. Just uh, just give the method uh, request method as post and return save in case of selection. And in case of uh, yes, in case of selection, you need to give the request method post. Uh, in case of updation and deletion, the request method should be put and uh, delete respectively. The next step is to configure of the data source. Uh, for this, you need to go to source main resources and then application dot properties, then set spring dot data source dot URL is equal to JDBC URL, your database uh, server name and uh, connection name, sorry. And then username and uh, you need to provide the username and password. So the application web application has been created in Spring Boot. Now it's the time, it's it is the time to run our application. To access the application in your browser, type localhost colon port number slash contacts. So thank you for watching the video. If you have any queries, you can directly ask me into the comment section or you can email me at info at techsapphire.net. <laughs>